Um, it is by department. It tells you kind of what, what the budget is, what the adopted budget is, what they've spent so far to date. So the first column is adopted budget. Second column of numbers is the transactions or what they've expended for the day or for the year. And then the budget minus the year-to-date transactions, so what they have left in their budget. The fourth column is the percentage spent so far. And then the fifth column is the numbers or the total amount spent last year. Okay. Um, what I did do is go through the departments that were above. We are currently, as of March 31st, 75% through the year. I went through and, and highlighted those budgets for you that were above that 75%. And then on the top of the page, I gave you an explanation of where we are with those departments and why that is. A lot of it has to do with timing issues. A lot of the money spent up front in the first of the year, and so they're 80% 80, 80 of the spent through November, and then the rest of the year, they don't spend really anything out of that department. So I, I gave those explanations to you. If there's other questions, I'll try to keep it brief. But if there's specific questions, I, I don't mind answering those at all. Um, I think the I, I think we're pretty good um, as far as I look at it. The overall budget budgeted for the general fund, we're at we sit at 51% spent for the year. That is the last page. If you look on the last page of the three pages, the total expenses there's about 51%. That's where we sit for the year. So we're 75% of the year through. We've only spent 51. And yes. Mr. Winger? Yes, Mr. Chairman, I just wanted to make a comment at this point. Uh, we always urge our departments to try not to spend any more than they have to because the remainder that they don't spend ends up being our opening balance for the next year. And the larger our opening balance, the better it is for our next fiscal year. So even though overall we've spent 51%, we still recommend that each department try to be as conservative as possible so that it helps our opening balance. That is true. We also try to keep an opening balance because we don't receive any tax revenue until around November time frame, October, November. So we we have to use that opening balance to cover our bills for those first three to four months. And what four we usually see around three to four million dollars. That is about four months of re of expenditures for the year. So we try to keep twenty five percent of the year on hand so that we can cover those. We don't go into the negative and we're not paying interest charges on a line of credit. So it's just trying to stay con conservative on our expenditures. And that's and so that, that kind of sums up the expense side. Um, the next sheet, yes, sorry, supervisor. Sorry, I think I changed the number. I appreciate that that correction. Um, number eight and number nine should be swapped. Okay, so number number eight became nine. And so really the, the insurance one, the insurance all it is is we pay a one-time insurance to ASIP at the first of the year, probably in July. So there will be no really no more expenses, significant expenses in that line item. So it, it really, that is a timing issue, and it should have been up in the explanation with 1, 5, and 9 is what it should have stated. Alrighty, I, I appreciate that, uh, but you can't quite swap them, because I, I mean, talks about the sheriff's office, uh, but I understand what you're saying. Then it's number 7, I apologize, I should look down my paper. It's, it, we're talking adult probation. And again, I, Supervisor Weller, I appreciate that correction. I, I will make sure that I'm, I'll send you an updated form where those numbers are correct, and you will receive that as soon as I get back to my office. Thank you. Okay, proceed with the next one. Okay. Um, revenues, um, I, these are general fund revenues. It says revenue budget performance report. Again, I gave you kind of an idea of where we are as far as revenues are concerned. Property tax is coming in solid. It's this sheet here. Property <coughs> taxes are coming in solid. Um, License permits, we're, we're looking pretty good there. It, it, we're, we're a little low on our building permits, but usually our last four months of the year are, are, are stronger than the rest, and so we usually make that up. 
Um, that's kind of been the trend over the last four or five years. So given that if we continue to maintain the, the, the trend, that would, that would lead us to believe we're going to be okay there. Um, our intergovernmental, I think the main one we wanted to stay in, I'll just hit it real quick and we'll, I'll, I'll move on to her, um, is the PILT. Through the, this year's farming bill, the PILT was reauthorized, and that's like 1.6 million to our county. And I'm talking right here, I'm sorry. I'm just talking up here on this top of this sheet here. And so that's being on. I guess I don't have that. Well, I had one here, I'm not sure where it went. There you go. Mm -hmm. So here it is. Um, intergovernmental is, our biggest thing is PILF, is our payment in lieu of tax. It's 1.6 million of our budget. It was reauthorized through the Farm Bill, so we have it now. Going into the next year, they have not reauthorized that. Mr. Winger. Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, on the PILF, I just want to add a comment there. Uh, the PILF doesn't come in until June, so we still haven't received the PILF for this year even though we, we budgeted it. Uh, it's a huge part of our general fund budget, 1.6 million, that's, that's a good, good, good portion. What I wanna call your attention to is that next year, um, it's not for sure we're gonna get the PILT next year. And the PILT is payment in lieu of taxes, what the federal government pays us on the federal property that we can't tax. So next year, we have no assurances that this will come back. We think it will. And we're going to budget as if it will come in, and it's going to be roughly 1.5 million as well. Just understand that uh, CSA sent out a questionnaire to all counties in the last week or so, asking if we plan on using this in our budget. Most counties have no choice. If we if we dropped our revenue by 1.6 million, it would uh, seriously affect what we can do operations and, and our employees. The only thing I want you to realize is that we're going to schedule this for next year in our budget. But realize it has not been approved as of this point. We think it will, but we're not sure. Thank you, Mr. Patterson. I think we'll just we'll we'll finish up with her, and it's this it's on the. Mr. Absolutely. Um, the PILT will come in. It has been authorized and the check will cut. It cuts usually June. Um, we will see that around July 7th, 8th, I think is last year's. It just about top of my head as far as the date is concerned. So, okay, so then that, and then the property taxes. Property taxes are paid in two lump sums normally. Um, our due dates are November 1st and then in April. And so we will see that money come in in November. A large portion comes in November, and then another large portion will be there in May. And so you'll see probably 55, 60% in November, and then the second half of the property taxes are due again in May, and that will we receive the other additional amount. We are on a trend that we normally see between 97, 98% of our taxes, um, property tax come in. And that's a trend for about eight years that I've been here. So, um, so I feel comfortable at this point where we're at. And so, does that answer it? No, that's fine. And if you'd like, we can we definitely, whenever it is convenient for yourself, I will go over those inf that information with you, and and try to make you comfortable with the numbers that we have currently. Any other questions, Weller?